Welcome back coders, this is Suraj Kele. In this video, I will show you how you can build your own Golang packages, import those packages in other Go programs and call your package functions or declarations from those Go programs. Go packages serve the same purpose as libraries and modules in other programming languages, which supports modularity, encapsulation, separate compilation and reviews. Your Go package will reside in multiple .go file in the same folder. For package, you need two things. One is import path and second, your package name. Conventionally, the last segment of import path and your package name should be same and folder where your package files will reside in should be named as your package name. The go package has a separate namespace. It means if you created two packages and define two functions with same name in these two packages, there won't be any conflict. Here we will be building temperature conversion package which converts from Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius as every go package needs to have import path. For that what you do go mod in it my module so you initialize your module here i have already created the module that's why there is no need to create again so this is the structure of my project in this video we will be creating two packages this package will explain you how to build your own package how to import those packages and this second packages is just to explain the concept of package initialization which we will be discussing after building this package now first you need to create a directory tempcon and then you can create multiple go files so here i have created three files this first file will have all the types of my temperature conversion package and this second file will have functions to convert from celsius to fahrenheit and fahrenheit to celsius and third which is doc.go this package will simply have package description you can also give the package description here above this line but if you have a more complicated description you should create a separate doc.go file and write your package declaration here so here i am writing package term code perform celsius and fahrenheit conversion you also have to right package temcon so similarly first in this go file we will import fmt then we will be creating two types in the last video uh, we have looked at how you can create your own types in golang here we have celsius and fahrenheit and we are declaring constants then these are the methods which we give to this type which will simply return degree fahrenheit and degree celsius now in this conversion.go file we declare package temcon see in packages there are multiple .go files there can be one or more okay all these files are in same namespace that means you can access a variable from one file to another here we are accessing this celsius type in this another .go file and we are making conversions now let's look at our package Tem count. Now this package has been created. As I have told you, there should be an import path and package name. This is package name and folder name is also the same as package name. Now what will be our import path? At the first, we initialize a module. Check out go.mod and here you can see that our module is my module. So in go project, package import path should be my module slash temcon. So while importing our package, we will be writing that. Now in this cf.go file, we will be importing our declared package first package main then imports fmt my module slash temcon so this is our import path it means that all the go files which reside here can use this import path to get our package in function main we will be printing absolute 0c constant now you need to remember one more thing that in package you can decide which your declaration to export or not all the declaration which begins with capital letter are exported and if suppose this declaration begins with small letter it is not exported okay let's try to run our program go run cf.go as you can see this is undefined make it capital a and run it again and as you can see it runs successfully now we are again using this function now let's print it again check this out your package is temcon and functions in the package can be accessed with your package name dot this function and we are accessing a constant and we are just getting the value 212 fahrenheit here in this program we are getting value from command line and just printing its uh, celsius and fahrenheit conversion so here is simply string count parse float it is converting our argument to float 64 and here we are again calling functions means this is a conversion and here we are printing the value let's run it but here it doesn't print let's give 100 value or 32 as you can see 32 fahrenheit is 0 degree and and 32 degree celsius is 89.6 fahrenheit suppose you want to shorten the package import name how you can do that you can use tc as well now every time you need to use tc because this will become aliases 
चेक इट आउट आवर पैकेज हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली रनिंग ओके इन द नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम वी विल लुक एट पैकेज इनिशियलाइजेशन फर्स्ट इयर वी आर डिक्लेरिंग अ पैकेज लेवल वेरिएबल्स ए बी एंड सी नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द ऑर्डर हियर सी इज इनिशियलाइज फर्स्ट वाई सी द पैकेज लेवल वेरिएबल्स गेट इनिशियलाइज इन द ऑर्डर सो ए शुड बी इनिशियलाइज फर्स्ट बट the dependencies will get resolved first a is dependent on b and c and b is dependent on let's look at function which is c so c will gets initialized first at the second it will be b and at third it will be a in our function may let's print all of this value and you can see 3 2 1 if you want to initialize in a package level variable it's okay if it's simple type just like where but if our variable is complicated type or suppose it's a table how you can initialize it for that you use init to initialization for an example here we are creating a new variable d and first printing its value it's zero now using init function we will be updating its value so init functions can't be called or reference they are automatically executed when program starts in order in which they are declared you can declare many init functions in single package now here i have declared init is d equals 4 here i can again declare the init is 3 so see the last one gets updated means first d will get gets assigned four value and after that d will assign three value so this is how the package initialization works we will be creating a new module which is popcount let's look at our project structure here you should create one new folder popcount and in that create popcount.go file popcount is our package name so this package simply returns set of bits whose value is 1 in unit 64 value this is package level variable so what init function here is does that while initialization it will create lookup table for this package and this is the function when we call the function from our main package this lookup table will already have been initialized so that the program will get faster now let's import it this is a import path and here we are just simply calling it this is the alias okay so that's why pc dot pop count if we have not specified it then you should write pop count dot pop count okay and here we are specifying 8 now let's run our program so here uh, we are getting value 1 here i will not be explaining the logic behind the pop count but here you should understand that this init function in turn improve our performance why because before this main package got initialized pop count will gets initialized and during the initialization of pop count this table which will gets initialized and in this function we are simply having the lookup in this table and it returns the value so many packages does these things to boost performance i hope in this video you have learned something new to watch more such videos subscribe to our channel one minute notes thank you